Look, th this isn't funny anymore, okay? So as you probably know by now, my Instagram account, which is the primary way that I get sales on animals, was suddenly just deleted. It completely disappeared, wiped from the Instagram database, which apparently is a thing that just happens. I even found an article since that video. The article is called User Not Found The Day I Vanished From Instagram, and it's describing exactly what I had happen. And there's been tons of people that have messaged me saying the exact same thing happened. But luckily, I have multiple platforms. And when it comes to selling reptiles, my second most successful way that I sell animals is through my mailing list. While mailing lists seem kind of outdated because people don't like checking their email and most people are on social media and don't use email as much as they used to, it's still a very successful way that people grow small businesses of all sorts and I've been building this one for a long time. It has 32,000 subscribers, which I would say is pretty good for a mailing list. Um, there's many people that go full time just on a mailing list with like 10,000 subscribers. So I was happy with this and I kept sending emails as usual. And then my mailing list account disappeared. It was, it was deactivated just like a few weeks after my Instagram account was deleted. My mailing list was shut down. <laughs> that is not even funny. Why am I laughing? I was so frustrated. I couldn't get into my account. And so I sent an email to the company and I was like, where did my account go? The, 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 the second most important way that I sell reptiles. Where, where is it? Why can I not log in? Why does it not exist apparently all of a sudden? Well, before I figure that out, I want to quickly explain something, which is soft and hard bounces. So you're gonna send emails to people. Sometimes those people inboxes are full or maybe the server is down. If they're using a certain email company and that company's server is shut down while you send them the email, they're not gonna receive it. And the mailing list company is going to know when that happens and it's called a soft bounce. It's a temporary error. So the next time you send an email, they'll try again. But then there are hard bounces, which means that there is a permanent error trying to send emails to a person. This happens for two big reasons. The first is that the email address simply doesn't exist. This usually happens when someone inputs a typo. The second reason Reason is because the domain was deleted or is fake. So I just checked my spam folder and there's one from at audit.taxi.njsaletaxaudit.com. That just doesn't exist. It's just a fake email. And so those are the only two reasons an account should be marked as a hard bounce. And so the mailing list will automatically remove this email from your list so that you're not trying to constantly send emails to these fake accounts, which could also affect like the health of the list. Well, I emailed the company and I was like, why was my account deactivated? They responded and said, please note that your email was blocked and we have now unblocked the email for you. This was so broad that I asked, why was the account blocked? And they said, hey there, it was blocked in our database due to a hard bounce. I hope you enjoy using our platform. My personal email that I use on a daily basis, the domain that I own, was marked as a hard bounce, which means that the mailing list company thought that the owner of the mailing list was fake. They thought my email didn't exist and they marked my email as a hard bounce and blocked it from their servers, which shut down my account. <laughs> I just always had this like faith in the mailing lists that they knew what they were doing because well that's their entire that's they have one job which is to send emails to people that sign up to your list now this mailing list has blocked 800 of my readers or subscribers because they were all hard bounces and i never really thought about how many that is and how many people that would be entering typos i do see like i'll see when someone signs up and i'll see that they spell gmail incorrectly so i'll just fix it for them but 800 is two percent of 32,000, which is one in every 50 people signing up to my list apparently doesn't exist and there's a lot of people that will email me and be like angry because they're not getting updates on uh, animals, but they sign up to the list. They're like, you told me that you'd send emails to the list first so that we'd always know when animals are available. And I do. And I'm like, I did. And they're like, well, I'm not getting them. And I check. And it turns out oftentimes that either maybe my email just went to their spam folder, but other times they were merged 
as a hard bounce. Every platform has its flaws. There's no perfect way. It's I, At first, I can always like, do I have to just go back to getting people's addresses and mailing them newsletters to their mail? Well, of course, they're gonna get lost sometimes. Some mail might get stolen. Some might, I don't know, fly out of the mail truck. But it, naturally, when you're doing any sort of platform, like on YouTube, how sometimes accounts will just randomly get unsubscribed from other accounts and stuff, but if 2% of my subscribers were unsubscribed accidentally, that would be 13,000 people. But every, and then like Instagram, well, sometimes we just delete your account. Like how are platforms still so unreliable? now all i've got left is my youtube account it's just gonna disappear i feel i already have an active uh strike on the channel so if i were to get two more my account's just deleted i'm permanently banned from youtube and i think it's a false strike like how unreliable is it because every time i send an email new emails get marked as a hard bounce which now i'm pretty convinced is actually just some of you who want to get updates on animals but no you just get blocked from the list because apparently you don't exist. It's still hard without the Instagram because that was just such a vital uh, backbone of their own scales. But I got an email, I think from Facebook. Now, the, speaking of weird email addresses, this came from Facebook, which then says Instagram plus plus A-A-Z-R-W-4-K-C-Q-7-Q-D-R-A, which is just kind of a weird, I know, like a lot of, uh, whatever. You know, I'm not even gonna question it. And they said, hi, we won't be able to help you until we receive proof that you're the owner of this account. Without verification of the owner, we can't be sure we're helping the right person. I have no idea the context of this. Like I know my account was removed, but I don't help me with, I don't remember asking them for help because I could never find any form of contact. But I just randomly got this email and they said, please reply to this message with an attached digital copy of any of the following documents that match the information on the account. Now here's the problem. The information on the account is Emerald Scales. That's it. My name isn't on it. Go Herping isn't on it. It's just Emerald Scales, which means that they will only give it back to me if I can prove it's a, it's it's the business. If I can prove that I own the business. Well, guess what? Emerald Scales, as you might know, is not a business. Emerald Scales is just a name. The business I have is Go Herping LLC. Like that's that's it. There's no association with Emerald Scale. So they want a local business license, which I don't have. I never got a business license. A tax filing, which I do have, but it's under Go Herping LLC, which is not what they want. A certificate of formation, which I don't have because it was never formed because I've only formed Go Herping LLC and not Emerald Scales. Articles of incorporation. It's not incorporated. Go Herping is, but that doesn't work because I already have my Go Herping account. Or a utility bill. I mean, I can give them like my electricity bill. I don't know what that has to do with Emerald Scales. Also, while editing this video, I realized they didn't even sign the email. It doesn't say Instagram support. It doesn't say Facebook support. It just says, thanks. A few minutes later, they said, hi, thanks for contacting us. Before we can help, we need to confirm that you own this account. Please reply to this message and send us a photo of yourself holding a handwritten copy with this code below. So they want a picture of me holding a piece of paper with a number written on it. I'm not on the account. I've never, there's, there's, maybe there's a picture of me on the account, but apparently it doesn't matter. And they just want this picture. So both of my hands need to be in it. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of this video. <laughs> uh, include the code handwritten followed by your full name and username. Wait, I messed up. I can't read that. And then the username includes both your hand Th this does not seem like a real email. It has a typo. Includes both your hand that's holding the sheet of paper and your entire face. This seems like a scab, but it's from support.facebook.com. I mean, I'm, there's no sensitive information on this. It's not like they asked for my password or my address or anything, but there's literally typos in this email from the Instagram team, which apparently came from Facebook support. I think it's real. I don't, am I just, am I, it, look, at support.facebook.com. That's the email. If I copy and paste it, it goes to facebook.com. It's not like they replaced the O with a zero. Like this is actually, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll screenshot that and send it to them. But they also want, I don't have any of those documents they want, but we'll see what happens with that. So that's my venting frustration. It's just kind of irritating. Um, but finally, last thing is there are some animals available. 
on Emerald Scales right now. Uh, there's a few more to come, but currently there's a Blue Tongue Skink, two Leopard Geckos, a Ball Python, and a Tegu if you want to check those out at emeraldscales.com. So irritating, but that's that. It could be worse. I could be dead. I could have no eyeballs. I don't know. Goodbye.